Actor Fenn here, man. What I'm going to be doing today, I'm going to be recharging a chest freezer that has leaked out all of its refrigerant. So right now the pressures in the system are at zero at atmospheric pressure. So I'm just going to show you this very quickly. I've already removed all the electrical wires and I've removed this cooling fan that cools helps to keep the compressor cool. So I've done that for the sake of time and because I'm going to do some brazing some heat is going to be involved. So what has actually happened is that this access valve, this bullet piercing valve, this piercing valve was placed on the line to test pressure in the past but, but as you can see there's a little curve here I don't know if you can see that there's a little curve here and because of that little curve when the pin punctured it it was on a curve sort of you know at a little tangent so the refrigerant was slightly leaking out and eventually it has leaking a backseat to this pin already it said screw right here sorry and if you can look at my gauge my low side gauge it says zero so that means that right now the system is totally empty of any refrigerant so I'm gonna what I've done I've already cut out this little stub here factory stub I've already cut it off and I'm going to debor it right now but I'm going to use some nitrogen in the system because I don't want to debris as I am I'm about to debor this or ream it out so to speak I don't want the shavings to get down in it, the debris to get down inside of the system. So the nitrogen will be acting against it and actually pushing it, pushing against the shavings that will be deborrowed from this pipe. And right there, my yellow hose. I have my yellow hose run all the way up. This is a six foot hose. The other two are three foot feet hose. I just use this for the benefit of, of this video and the distance I have to cover. Now this side shows the amount of nitrogen in the system, in the tank, right? This is 100 cubic feet, it's a small tank, 100 cubic feet per, feet per meter tank. So this side represents the amount of pressure in the tank. This side represents, the low side represents the amount that will be leaving the tank. And this is my adjustment handle right here. This is how I adjust the pressure to where I want it to be. So always make sure before you turn and open your, your, your valve, your head valve here. Always make sure that this is slack, like it's loose. It's not in the open position. So I'm going to about to open this. And if you can look closely, you see it here about 2,000 pounds per square inch of pressure. That means my nitrogen bottle is full. Yep, and now that I have that back seated all the way, I'm gonna do my reaming now. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna uh, make sure my gauges close, and as I turn, you're gonna see the, sorry, you're gonna see the needle slightly. moving slightly up really very carefully hold for one second yeah my lens was a bit dirty sorry about that but as I turn you see it's getting close to that stroke and that stroke represents 25 psi okay so it's closest about 20 psi which is good pressure for me so my gauge is still at zero as I open my gauge this is my deborrowing tool anyway so I'm just gonna put this here And as I start to deborrow this, shavings are gonna be. <coughs> so I'm just gonna open my gauge. Put it out of here. 
my nitrogen flowing. So this will prevent any debris from getting in. Close my hand wheel. Close it. So guys, now what I'm gonna do I'm going to be breezing this little access valve into that pipe. So I'm gonna get it set up. And in part two, I'm going to show you how I breeze it in. And while I'm breezing, I'm going to also actually let some nitrogen flow through the lines. Just to prevent oxidi oxidization in the pipes. That's a blattening and the scorching, the burning of oxygen around. So in the surrounding air. Gets a pipe all blacked and chalked up inside. You don't want that stuff getting into your system. So, stick around. Check me out with a part two. 